This video demonstrates a femtosecond laser-assisted LASIK procedure. After placement of a low-pressure suction ring to align and stabilize the globe, a flat contact lens attached to the laser system is used to applinate the cornea. Appropriate positioning is assured. The laser begins by first creating a pocket in the superior cornea that will collect the gases produced by the ablation. Then the lamellar dissection is produced by laser pulses delivered in a raster pattern from a superior to inferior direction. The side cuts are then constructed. Suction is broken and the applinating contact lens is removed from the eye. The procedure follows as a usual LASIK procedure. Circular marks are made with gentian blue in the cornea mid-periphery. Central ultrasonic pachymetry is performed. The flap is lifted from the stromal bed after disappearance of the cavitation bubbles. A cellulose sponge is placed over the conjunctiva to avoid contact between the flap and surface fluids. A forceps is used to gently reflect back the superiorly hinged flap. The residual bed stroma is measured with ultrasonic pachymetry. A surgical sponge is placed over the flap hinge to prevent inadvertent laser ablation in the hinge. With the patient fixating on the blinking fixating red light, the eye track is activated and the laser is applied. The fixation is checked throughout the entire procedure. The sponge is removed and the stromal bed is irrigated with BSS. The flap is repositioned and centered using the gentian violet markers as guidelines. A cellulose sponge is used to sweep the flap and remove any interface fluid. 